Ghana's bid for the West African country's 15th overall medal in the Summer Olympics was unsuccessful as the men's 4 by 100 meter relay team anchored by Corpin State graduate Joseph Amor was disqualified for a lane infringement in the final at the Olympic Stadium in Tokyo. Worth noting that Ghana qualified for the finals with a new national record time of 38.08 seconds. Joining me via Zoom is my colleague Gary Al Smith. And Gary, I mean, um, it all comes to an end, quite an anticlimax. Who is, is calling it an anticlimax? If you were expecting the team to have won gold, that is probably an anticlimax for you. But if you're expecting them to put up a certain kind of strong showing, then you probably would want to look at things a bit in more context. But yes, it is disappointing. I won't call it an anticlimax. I would say it, it was disappointing, Hans. And I mean, going forward, a lot has been said about the um, average age of the 4x100 meter relay team. And um, that, you know, gives the country a bit of hope if, of course, things are done much better than they have been over the years. Yes, 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 yes. Um, three of them are under, under the age of 25, which is fantastic, which means then that they could be around 26, 27, you know, by the time the next Olympics come around in uh, Paris 2024, which is absolutely great. If in that time, there'll be Beijing 2022, you know, uh, the championships in Beijing next year, if they can make it there and compete favorably or get experience, that would be great. 2023, there'll be a couple of championships around the world. If they can make it then and then 2024, definitely they can qualify because of their pedigree. Hence, we can expect even better from them with better preparation. So the only way to look is up. And overall, Team Ghana's campaign at Tokyo um, has come to an end. One medal, a bronze medal, is what we are returning with. Can we call um, our, you know, exploit in Tokyo a success? No, I don't think so. We took 14 athletes and uh, if we're coming into the end of the tournament with one bronze medal, I don't think so. But I'm sure there are many, many people watching right now who would say that, how much did you put into them that you were expecting medals? And so they would ask for things to be looked at in perspective and they, they will not be wrong. But on the face of it, 14 athletes, one bronze medal, um, especially in sports where we are traditionally strong, like boxing, you know, you would expect that we will do a bit better there. In things like the triple jump, the um, and then the four by one hundreds, where we have not had some shine in a while, you can understand. But I don't think it will be caught by any stretch of the imagination a successful game. Grateful that you joined me, Gary Al Smith, uh, my colleague here on the Joy Sports team.